Low riding has changed my life. It keeps your family together. It lets you know your priorities because having a low rider is all about your family, about your friends, about keeping things in order. The love of low riding came from my brother Peter. I was about 13 years old and I used to hang around with the car club with my brother, the Techniques. We would go out, hang out with them, did hall dances, the backyard boogie, quinceaneras, and a lot of my friends liked it because my brother was in the car club and that just kind of stuck with me. My name is Margaret Garcia and everybody knows me as Lulu. I have a 63 Impala and it's called California Cruising. It's Laurel Green. It has cross-laced rims, 13-inch. The engine size is a 350. This is my first low rider. I didn't go with the mural. I tried to stay more traditional. I wanted it to be soft, so I had it pinstriped. It's so cool because that's a part of you and that shows a little bit of your personality. To me, there's less flaws on the car. On a woman's car, they're more detailed. We purchased it from our uncle. He had it for 40 years. I used to joke with him, if he was ever gonna sell it, that I wanted it. It took two weeks to restore my car. We did it in our garage. They went back to the metal. There was dents and dings, as well as the bumpers had to be re-chromed. We had to remove all the parts, label every bolt, every screw, and put all the parts back together. The molding on the seats, the, the chrome, the tail lights, the headlights, everything you gotta take off just to put the half moves on and then put the, everything back on. And oh my gosh, I know about my car. The car club that I belong to is Techniques Car Club of Los Angeles. I'm originally from Baldwin Park. I met my husband, we married. Now we live in Ventura County. I have five children. My youngest boy, everybody knows him as Boo. His name is Lawrence Stephen Garcia Jr. He got his nickname Boo from his brother Henry. They used to watch cartoons a lot together and the cartoon was Yogi and Boo Boo. It started off as Boo Boo and it stuck with him as Boo. He was three years old when we found out that he had cancer. When they did the biopsy, they started giving him chemo pills and it took it away. He never lost hair, he didn't drop weight, he ate normal, ran around like a regular kid, and he stayed in remission until he was 12. Well, when it came back aggressive is when they actually had to put him on chemo. He lost his hair, but he dropped a lot of weight, dropped a lot of weight. And the amazing thing of the whole thing, he never complained never complained about pain, never complained about he was uncomfortable until the last two weeks. By that time, he just said, Mom, I'm tired. I'm real tired. My son had a passion for lowriders. Peter introduced me into lowriding, but Peter was also little Lawrence's Nino, and he used to go with the club all over the place to the different car shows. He was a car fanatic. The last car show, he couldn't make it. And he called his, his Nino Pete, I can't go. The doctor won't let me out of the hospital. And my brother tells him, don't worry about it, mijo. I'll take the car by, I tell the doctor. And he, and he calls him back. He said, the doctor said I could come downstairs. So my brother gets there and he calls me. He tells me he's there. I take him downstairs. And to our surprise, there was at least a good 70 cars. no other cars could fit in the parking lot anymore. Even though he couldn't make it to this show, the show came to him. Techniques Car Club brought the show to Chalk Hospital. It meant the world to him, to know that how much people loved him. My car club, it let me know how much they're there for us, how much of a family they are. Their thing was to make his day his day. He had his last barbecue, and he calls me and dad in the room. He says, Dad, 
I want to have a barbecue. I want to have a barbecue. He says, okay, Mimo, I'll call your aunts and your uncles. I said, no, 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 no. Don't, don't call the family. He says, call the car club. Call the techniques. They show up Saturday. All the guys are there. He is so floored. He is so happy. And two days later, he passes. My husband has a 73 Caprice Classic convertible called Booze Dream. That car was actually designed by Boo. When my brother was going to sell the vehicle, he called my husband and he asked him if he wanted to purchase the car. So we purchased the vehicle. He says, now that you purchased the vehicle, now I'm gonna tell you the story behind the vehicle. Your son actually designed the car, picked out the colors, wanted the pinstriping. His desire was to have a convertible. He didn't want an ordinary convertible top. The top is actually from a Mercedes Benz. The reason why the car is blue, because that's his dad's favorite color. The reason why the pinstriping is purple and pink, because that's his mother's favorite color. Everything that got incorporated on that car was actually designed by our son before he passed. It meant so much to him. It's like he left a part of him to us. He's carried a, a large legacy, and his, his legacy was paint it forward. Every time he would go to the hospital, any procedure, anything that was done with to him, they would give him a toy. So whether they took his temperature, he got a toy. If he had to get a shot, he got a toy. There was so much stuff in his room. He asked, Mom, can I give them to my other friends? Whether it was at church or just even in the car, he would see people off the street and he would hand them to them. And he would give away his toys. Little Lawrence was a giver. He was never a taker. He was always a giver, always giving to everybody. That was his thing was to pay it for, just to give. He just kept doing it and that's what we're doing now. Due to his legacy, we opened up a foundation. It's called the Boo Foundation. When we opened it up, we did the same thing that he did, pay it forward. The Boo Foundation is a nonprofit organization. We wanted to give back to the children, to the families that don't have. We do catering, barbecues. The foundation donates bicycles through Huffy, toy drives for Christmas. We asked the car club that we belong to, Techniques, and we asked them if you want to do this with us. And they said, sure. So we opened up a carnival car show. All the rides are for free. All the games are for free. You get on the rides as many times as you want. You play the games whatever you want. Win whatever toy you want. All of our kids are winners. That's their day. Besides of the Boo Foundation, we also have recovery homes. We have a recovery home for the men, the women, and for the family. My husband is the overseer of the men's home and also has a body shop and he takes the men from the home to teach them how to do the bond of work, how to do the paint, how to straighten the body. They take it apart, take the bumper off, they repair it, they fix it, tear the cars down to nothing and build them back up. We want to show people they can make it. The way law writing has changed my life, it, it keeps you on your toes. It keeps your family together. It keeps you uh, busy. It keeps you, it lets you know your priorities. It's just very meaningful because it's a part of my life. It was a part of my brother's life. It was a part of my son's life. To be a spokesperson for the car club, for the Boo Foundation, for everybody, it's just, it's more meaningful. It, it's more powerful, it hits harder. My name is Margaret Garcia. I'm the president of the Boo Foundation and I'm a low rider role model.